All right, guys, so I got this fender, aluminum fender bracket uh, for a trailer. And um, I'm gonna make one side 90 degrees to the mount to the trailer frame and then flatten out the other side to mount the license plate here. So let's get hammering. All right, so we got the fender support um, in a 90 degree elbow. I flattened this part first down and then just bent it at a 90 here. And then we're going to mount our license plate on there. But I am going to trim the uh, side of the license plate so it's not um, sticking out beyond the outside fender um, and catching an edge or anything like that. All right, so we got the fender support mounted to the frame, two 7 16 inch bolts. I did decide to mount it closer to the wheel well uh, because uh, when you go over speed humps and, and tilt the trailer pack and the, the license plate, when you put a bracket below the tail light, it hangs out really low and, it, and that's why we lost two license plates already. So by mounting it closer to the center axle, we're going to be, have the, the most maximum uh, vertical distance for clearance. And hopefully not losing another license plate. All right, so we've got the license plate mounted. We've gone from this very cheap uh, bracket here at the end of the trailer that is prone to curbs and t trailer tilts. So it's mounted up here closer to the wheel well with a much dirtier bracket. We are still going to double nut the nuts here in the back. And of course, we are going to blue Loctite it at least at a minimum, maybe even red Loctite the actual license plate to the frame. And then probably blue Loctite uh, on the, the mount. Thanks for watching. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-